Here we go. Kenny asks, uh, can you take a 578 code plug and use it on the 878 after exporting it and then importing it for the 878? Um, absolutely. So you can't quite take just the code plug, the RDT file, and transfer it over, uh, but it's going to be very similar. Here, let's jump into the computer and I can show you how that would work. Awesome. Here we go. So we'll open up the CPS here real quick. Wait for that to open. Okay, there we go. Get the CPS opening. Awesome. Here we go. So uh, we'll just pretend this is our code plug. So we've read from our 878 radio. And now at this point, what we can do is uh, go up here to tool. Now, normally, if you're transferring the code plug from the same radio to another version of that same radio, you would go to, uh, you know, file and then save as. And on your new CPS, you would click the open button. Uh, I believe it's around here somewhere. Open. Now, in this case, since we're going to a different radio, this will be true if you're going from, to a radio with a different version of firmware, too. Uh, you're going to go to Tool, Export, and if you just want the channel list, you can do that, or you can export all up here in a CSV file, and you'll be able to export all of that information. Then on your new CPS, so you're going to take this over, and then on your 578, you'll go up here to Tool. First, you want to read from your radio, but then you'll go to Tool, and then import, click import, click OK, and then you're going to import from file list. And you'll be able to import all that information over into your radio. Now, there is one thing this is not going to do in your optional settings. You're going to lose any customization you've done in your optional settings. Uh, so just make sure that you, you change all of your optional settings or maybe keep, you know, pull them up side by side and just change all those over if you want to keep them. Uh, but other than that, you're going to be set and be able to take all that information over.